Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to solve an issue that I've been experiencing at the track. If you guys know my car, maybe you have a similar setup. You have Mickey Thompson tires, which you want to run super low, under 20 PSI, because these tires grip like no other. But the problem is, while that's great for track times, your car is going to be freaking out the whole time. Your tire pressure sensors aren't going to want to reset, and you're going to get an error on your iDrive screen saying that you're limited to 50 or 80 miles per hour, which if you're trying to hit 150 miles an hour on the drag strip, 80 is a real bummer. So today I'm going to code my car with Pro Tool so that doesn't happen anymore. BMWs come from the factory with one of two different ways to monitor your tire pressure sensor. First, a traditional TPMS, which is what we have in the United States, is this little sensor, and it goes in the wheel, and it monitors your pressure and your temperature for each of the wheels, and it displays it very nicely on your screen. If you have an issue where one of the tires is going flat or so, your car actually has the ability to limit your top speed and whatnot, just to make sure that you arrive where you're going safely, which is great for casual commuting, but for the racetrack, it's no good. Your car also has something built in that's called TPM, or it's also known as flat tire monitor. What this does is it doesn't even need these sensors. It uses the ABS system to monitor the speed of each tire. And if one tire starts to spin slower than the others, aka your tire is a little bit smaller, so maybe it's losing air, it'll give you an alert. This system, unlike the TPMS system, works great at the track. It's not gonna give you any of these issues and limit your speed or anything like that, but if you do get a flat tire and one tire is going low, you're still gonna get notified, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to code today. As far as the time required for this, it's gonna take you maybe five minutes or so, and you're going to need three things. We're going to be coding it with the Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter. This is going to be the interface to connect the car to an Android tablet, which we have running Pro Tool. For the tablet, the dongle, and also the software license to Pro Tool, we have everything listed for you down in the description below. On the back of the Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter, it has both the network ID and also the password, which isn't super secret. It's just Keys1234 with capital K. So let's plug this in the OBD2 port in my car here. And then I like to triple click the engine start stop button to put it in diagnostic mode. Next, you can connect to the Keys network and enter the password that's on the back of the device. Then we can launch Pro Tool and hit this green connect button, hit connect again, and it's going to establish a connection with the vehicle. All right, so after it does some system checks, you're going to be displayed with this screen here. We are going to be doing some more videos like this. We're gonna go through a lot more of the features. This is an incredible tool for not only coding, but also diagnostics as well. For today, you're gonna to go up here where it says vehicle and multi ECU. Then you're gonna go over second down from the right to vehicle order. All right, so here is my entire build. We are going to go to the bottom right where it says edit. Whenever it asks you for a backup, I always highly suggest doing this just in case anything gets a little bit goofy, you can always revert. I always like to put the date in as my backup name. All right, once you're at this screen, you're gonna type in T-Y-R-E and you're going to uncheck 2VB where it says tire pressure monitor. So just uncheck that. And then at the bottom, we're gonna hit actions. We're going to save it. It's going to determine what all needs to be coded in the car. It's gonna automate the process for us, which makes it super simple to use. All right, and it has four control units that it's going to code. I'm gonna hit confirm. And then down here, I'm gonna hit recode. Okay, just like that. It's gonna go through. You might see like your cluster and your screen go off and on again, totally normal. Um, just takes a couple minutes to do and then we'll be all set. All right, so once that's done, you're going to know that it took effect when you look at your vehicle status and instead of where it used to say tire pressure monitor, now it says flat tire monitor. And this is going to ensure that you guys are going to have much more fun at the track, not worrying about your tire pressure. If you're interested in a keys dongle, a license for Pro Tool, or maybe one of these Android tablets, which are only about 150 bucks, be sure to see the links down in the description. If we can help you out with anything, reach out to our team at info at keys.com, whether you need advice on coding, performance, aesthetics, and more. Anyway, once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.